Assalamu alaikum. I'm here with another video today, a, a quick harvest video. Um, I know the last video was about a week ago, so today we thought we'd do a, uh, some harvesting of um, some courgettes, some potato, some runny beans, and things like that. So, inshallah, stay tuned and um, you can see the cat go across. So, you can see, alhamdulillah, from, from this angle, um, of what we've done this year with the garden. So you can see um, this garden here, everything's grown mostly in um, the ground and the garden over on the, the right hand side, um, there's no, it's all slabbed up so everything's in pots and you've got the greenhouse in the middle. Um, you can see the khudu plants, are, you've got one, one trellis here, one in the middle, one at the back and then alhamdulillah in the other garden you've got a, a khudu plants all across the the U-shape trellis. Um, I'll, I'll hopefully do another khudu update in a few days time once the few that we've got have grown a bit. Um, but yeah, let's start harvesting. Okay, so I've just um, snipped the leaves and the plants and just left, see, just one line here. So inshallah, you just never know what you're going to get with potatoes. So we'll get stuck in now. Got quite a few things to harvest today. So we'll have to get a move on because it looks like it's going to Start raining in Birmingham any time now. So Alhamdulillah, these beautiful, um, proper Bangladeshi potatoes grown in the UK. Um, these were the ones that were just sticking out the ground, so I'm just going to start digging now. Alhamdulillah, just turned over some soil. And just, um, you can have all the money in the world, but I don't think there's a better feeling than um, harvesting potatoes. It just feels really good. When you, you don't know what's underneath the ground, Alhamdulillah, give from Allah. Alhamdulillah, so that's the potato harvest done for the, for this line here. Uh, Alhamdulillah, you see there's uh, quite a bit of potatoes there, so very happy with that effort. So, um, see it's really cold and breezy in Birmingham today. What day is it? Wednesday. Um, got some updates to give you around Khudus, which I'll post another video, you can see, um, I don't know if I can close up, there's khud a few Khudus growing back there, there's a few there as well, um, and a few on that side as well, so I'll do a, a fresh video and provide you with a Khudu update as well, so you can see some pumpkins here, um, I'll just show you now what the rest of the things that I've harvested today, and then I'll end the video there. MashaAllah, so just picked this Chinese Qumra, add that to the pile. So MashaAllah, we've done a really nice little harvest today. No khudu, um, I'll give you a khudu update in a few days. Um, hope you enjoyed the tour. So this is the harvest for today. You can see, we've got plenty of futal. So across the two gardens we've got three um, sets of plants scattered across and this is the third or fourth time we've harvested the photo and I think we've done really well. I shall have absolutely no idea where um, the seed for this one appeared from um, but it's just your normal pumpkin so we'll either make some kind of pumpkin pie or um, we'll see once we've cut it let mum decide on what she wants to do with it. And um, this is the first Chinese from uh, a plant that I planted towards the back of the garden. Um, you know from my last video we did two or three. And this one, um, it's probably gone a bit big um, than it's supposed to be. You'll notice from a lot of my videos I tend to harvest things quite late. Um, I like to enjoy them while they're on the plants. Um, but that's that's this one. Um, another great harvest of runny beans. Um, and the five or six courgettes. Mashallah, this one's gone too big again. I've made that mistake three, four times already this year. Got told off by my mum. But we've got some some others here. And then our family favourite, the lal shag. Um, we, I think this, we'll try to make uh, something with this. There's quite a lot of it. Um, the last few times we've harvested lal shag, we've made bazis. Um, but this time we're going to try to make a tenga. I'm not sure, depending on what region you're from, from Bangladesh. I know people might do, uh, do different things with it. Um, but my favourite, and my family favourite, is uh, either lal shag in a bazi, um, in a normal sag, or in a, in a tenga. 
so that's hopefully what they'll decide to make with this this week and then we've got some cucumbers there so mashallah um, that's the harvest